brand new feature in Photoshop and it's a good one which I highly highly welcome. Hear me out. So earlier I never recommended and never liked using the auto select feature with the move tool. So if you selected the move tool along with it, if you checked auto select layers, now this feature in an ideal world should work perfectly fine, right? So if I click on the subject, it automatically selects the subject layer. If I click on the Photoshop icon right there, it automatically selects the Photoshop logo layer, right? It seems so convenient, but in the real world, it doesn't work that great. Let's say you wanted to move this shape right here, this particular layer. If I try to do it accidentally, I can move the background and this happened all the time. So there's a new feature to help with this problem and more called Hover Layer Bounce. This feature is available only in the beta version of Photoshop right now. Maybe by the time you're watching, it may be released, I don't know. For now, you need to open your Creative Cloud desktop app, go to apps, right here at the top, click on beta and install Photoshop beta. The way the Hover Layer Bounce feature works is very simple. It's in the name. As you hover over the objects, you should see a boundary around them. But right now we don't. To enable this, with the Move tool selected, first of all, I would recommend you can enable Auto Select Layers. And right here in the gear icon, you need to check all of these three for now. We will get into the details later. Just check these three. All right. Now, as you hover over, have a look. Let's say I want to select this icon. As soon as I see the layer bounce on top of it, I click on it, that layer is selected. And if I want to select the subject, you see the bounce, click on it, it's automatically selected. So it not only clearly shows you the layer bounce as you hover over them, but also highlights them right here. So right now I'm hovering over the Photoshop logo. Have a look, that is highlighted. And right now I'm hovering over the subject. See, the subject is already selected by the way. Right now I'm hovering over this text that is highlighted right here. Now, even if you have auto select turned off, let's turn it off you will still see the layer bounce. It is just that the layers will not be automatically selected. So if I hover over this Photoshop logo, and even if I click on it, that layer won't be selected. That's just it. Now let's go over a few settings. If this is bothering you, you can turn it off by clicking on the gear right here and turn off show layer bounce on hover. Now when you hover over, you won't see layer bounce. So let's turn it back on. Another setting is showing the hover bounce from layers, which is the exact opposite. So if you keep this one turned on, which is show hover bounce from layers, have a look what happens. As you hover over the layers, not click on it, as you just hover over, you see them highlighted. So right now I hover over this one. This is highlighted right here. Right now I'll hover over this one. This is highlighted right here. Right now, if I hover over the subject, the subject is highlighted right there. You see that? Another important feature is what happens if the layer is inside a group? For example, right here, we have four layers, one, two, three, and four. And as we hover through it, they are highlighted right here. Let's make a group of layer three and layer four. Let's select it. Hold the control or command, select the four, control or command G to make a group of it. Now, let's say you have the layer one selected. Let's move the mouse over, click on it. It is selected, right? If we now select layer four, which is inside a group, see what happens. Nothing happens. Layer four is selected, but we cannot see it because right now it is inside a group. So if you go to these settings right here and click expand layer group on click, now see what happens. I'm going to select layer three. The group automatically expands to show which layer is selected. That's all. So even if I close the group and let's say we select layer Four. It expands the group to show which layer is selected. So that's what that function does. Now let's see how the layer bounce react with masks. Let's create the popular pineapple logo. So let's click on the mask of this shape. Let's take a simple brush and we are just going to paint here with black. Just like so, maybe. There we go. Pineapple logo. Now here we have the shape. And here we have its mask. If we hover over it, how does that act? So with the move tool, right now have a look. Whatever is in the mask is also highlighted separately. See, this was a circle there inside of the mask. And the shape is also highlighted. So that's how it reacts with masks. Now, if you don't like the layer bounce, you have the option to customize it. So right now it is light blue. It might be too thin for you. So you can go to Photoshop settings or preferences by clicking on Photoshop settings. And in here, let's go to grids, guides and slices. On a Windows, it would be under edit preferences. In the hover layer bounds section, you have the option to customize it. Let us change, for example, the line color to medium blue or maybe magenta. 
and let's change the panel color just for fun to red. All right, and also make the line thicker to about three pixels. Hit OK. Now see what happens. As we hover through it, it is thicker and it's magenta. And also have a look at the highlights right here. These are now red. So as we hover through it, the colors have changed, the thickness has changed. So whatever works for you, whatever you like, you can customize it accordingly. Right now, as we hover over each object, each individual layer is highlighted. But what about groups? So right here with auto select, we are auto selecting layers, right? If group is selected, the layers which are individual would act the way it acted before. But these two layers right here are in a group. So if we hover over them, they are collectively highlighted. So it depends on your auto select settings. If it's set to layers, they will be individually highlighted. If you set it to group, groups will be considered. Now there's one setback to this new feature and that is understandable and the Photoshop team needs your feedback on that. And that is, let's say you have an element that fills the entire canvas. Let's say you have a simple solid color adjustment layer at the very top. Let us choose any color, hit OK, place it at the very top and decrease its opacity to about, let's say, 20%. You can still see through, right? But if you try to hover over, nothing is highlighted. Of course, because this fills the entire canvas. So how do you fix this? What are your ideas? Do share them in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. I really like this new innovation. Absolutely makes auto select more accessible. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh.